99% of people, because rheumatoid arthritis is no longer really an issue in our society. We have medications for that. Arthritis in this day and age is a loss of cartilage. It's a wear and tear of the cartilage. Okay? When the cartilage is working, your joint is fine. When the cartilage is gone, you've got arthritis. All right, so question number two that we've alluded to the answer already is, why does everyone get arthritis? Like this gentleman on the near right, using a walker, he's got a lot of hip pain. And this guy, who I found on YouTube, is 97, and he's playing tennis like nothing ever happened. He's got no hip problems whatsoever. Okay, so, so what is the difference? And radiographically, when we look at x-rays, this is what an arthritic hip looks like, and that's what a normal hip looks like, right? So it's very easy for us to diagnose hip arthritis with a quick x-ray. We take an x-ray, we see a nice space in between the two bones, like here. You know what, let me define this for you better. Watch this. All right, so a nice space, like the, like the green lines apart from each other, that space is not air. That space is cartilage, okay? And on the right side, when the cartilage wears out, those two bones come into contact, and that creates the pain from arthritis. All right, so we talked about some of the potential causes. I think really one of the most important is genetics, okay? Your parents gave you a certain quality of cartilage. I can't really help that. You can't really help that. That's what you're stuck with. But, but that is an important factor, okay? But that's one that we can't really deal with. Activity level, sure, that's important. If you sit on the couch your whole life, you might not get arthritis. If you're an active person, you're kind of wearing out that cartilage a little bit. You might, you might wear it out earlier than others. Trauma certainly um, can lead to cartilage damage. And then the anatomy, which is what we've already alluded to. 